What's up guys? The day is finally here. How to theme your desktop like a boss. I don't even want to talk anymore. Let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is download Rain Meter. They have a beta version, but I recommend you download the final version. Go ahead and do that and I'll post a link below. Once the download is complete, go ahead and run the installation. I will just recommend to just leave everything as is. Um, I do the standard installation, which is the recommended, and go ahead and do that. Once the installation is complete, you'll notice that, um, we'll leave run rain meter checked, and you'll notice that it pre-defaults to a pretty nice uh, UI, but we're gonna go ahead and change that. Now that we have rain meter installed, I'm gonna post a link for Nova 7. Go ahead and download Nova 7, and once you've downloaded, make sure you extract the zip file. And once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and run the Simply Nova V2 file, okay? Go ahead and just install that. Just leave everything alone. And once everything installed, I'll show you how to set everything up. Now, in order to apply the theme, go over here where it says Life Hacker and right click, and you wanna select Rain Meter and Skins. You'll notice that there's Nova and there's a whole bunch of other ones which, which we're gonna go ahead and select them all. So go back to Skins, Nova, and Spec. Now right now, if everything looks a little bit funny or out of place, don't worry. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we just um, go ahead and select all of these. So we have Hotbar, Specs, Time, and Bar. Uh, let's go ahead and do all of them right now and I'll show you what it looks like once it's complete. So once installed, your theme should look something like this, but we were gonna go ahead and edit it. So right click on these, this bar and click on edit skin. We, I wanna change those icons. I only wanna leave the Android. Now you could do whatever you want. So the Android one is ANPNG, but if we delete everything below, it will get rid of all the other icons. So you can see here it says ANPNG, that is the one at the very bottom, and we're gonna go ahead and move that to the top. So in meter icon one, I'm gonna put ANPNG, and then I'm gonna, when they click on it, or excuse me, when I click on it, I want it to go to AirDroid, web.airdroid.com. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything below. That way I don't have all these extra icons. And once I'm done that, I'm gonna go ahead and save it, okay? Now once you save it, you have to refresh the bar, okay? So go ahead and hit refresh skin. Now when I click on my buddy Android up there, it will take me to web.airdroid.com, okay? Now, let's go ahead and move this a little bit. Go to settings, position, and you wanna change it to um, the bottom. That way you can see all of the uh, different information like hard drive and system and specs. Same thing down here. If I move this, the minute I click on it, it will go to the front. So we wanna change the position again to the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and move the, uh, gotta click here, gonna move down here the uh, time and calendar. So now that we set everything in place, we're gonna go ahead and unload the skin. Right click and click on unload skin. We don't need this anymore, these are the default ones, so we just wanna get rid of them, okay? But if you notice, my theme is not aligned properly. My resolution on a monitor is much bigger, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit the skin, um, the horizontal bar, and I'm gonna go ahead and put 1920, because I have a 1920, oops, 1920 monitor. Go ahead and click on save. We're gonna do the same thing with the other one, edit, skin, and this is the vertical bar, and we wanna put, depending on your resolution, mine's 1200, go ahead and save that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the skin. Um, as you can see, it automatically resize itself. Um, go ahead and do that, there it goes. You may not have to do this, depending on the screen resolution on your monitor, it may vary. So I went ahead and installed a background to make it look nicer, and also a icon pack called Aqua V4 Installer, which I will add a link below so you can download. Um, go ahead and click on computer here. You can see some of you may not like because it has an Apple logo, but it gives a whole theme of clean look. Um, you can see all the folders. I'm gonna go ahead and install a, another icon pack so you guys can see how it's done. This is the token icon pack. Make sure you do a restore point uh, to keep everything the way it was before, otherwise you're gonna get screwed. Go ahead and go into the installer and right click on the install to run as admin. Uh, what you need to do is click on number one to install this icon pack and it'll change everything. It'll ask you to restart Windows, which I'm not gonna do, otherwise it's gonna drop the uh, video recording. 
go ahead and click on two or one, uh, probably better to restart. As you can see, things have already changed. Everything looks completely different now. It has that black theme, which I like. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, this other uh, folder here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my C drive so you guys can see what, go ahead and click there, see how everything else looks, which is uh, quite nice. One thing you'll notice though is down here, my icons did not change. So what we need to do is change the icons manually. And in order to do that, I've, I've added this token um, icon pack into that zip file below. Go ahead and click on token dark and you'll notice all of the different icons that are included. And of course you can download other ones, but this matches that token theme. Um, and in order to uh, make sure we can do this properly, what I would do is take that token dark folder and put it in your C drive just so that you don't delete it later. I'm going to go ahead and rename it to icons. That way I know that that is my icon pack. So once I've done that, go ahead and just exit all this, right click on any of the um, icons that you want to change or excuse me, applications and click on change icon. Okay. When you do that, it'll show you the default icons, but we're going to browse a specific directory. Now if mine defaults to this one, but if yours doesn't, go ahead and click on the C drive. Um, that way you remember it is icons and then find the token ICO or I for icons. I'm going to go ahead and click on Adobe and I'm going to go ahead and do the audition. This way it again matches that theme, uh, which is the token theme that I've provided here. I go ahead and hit click on apply and there you have it. All you need to do is just drag that to pin it. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and you're basically done. You're going to have to do this to every single one of them. And once you're done, you could even tweak it even further by changing your login wallpaper, your picture, and really making it your own. This has been Nova 7 and this is theming your windows like a boss.